So in this video, we're going to be looking at y equals the inverse sine of x. What does this graph look like? Now, this is synonymous with arc sine of x. These two things mean the same thing. They're just different notations. Okay. Now, let's first draw the sine curve. Okay. So here's sine between 0 and 2 pi. Now, sine between 0 and 2 pi, um, because from what we've referred to before with this idea that actually the inverse function um, must be 1 to 1, okay, whereas the sine curve is not, okay, uh, many values give the same fun the same value. Oh, sorry, many starting values give you the same y value, so it's many to one. So what we're going to do is restrict the domain. And the easiest way to do this is to think of extending the sine curve to the left of the y-axis. Okay, so let's go to minus pi over two minus pi. Okay, like that. And then think about well, I need to choose uh, a domain for sine such that it covers all of the possible y values, okay, but uh, doesn't give me a function that is many to one. So you could, for example, look at the function between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. This goes from 1 down to minus 1, and so covers all of the y values. Um, but traditionally, we don't go for that. We actually go for minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, going from minus 1 up to 1. Okay. So what we do is we slice it Okay. so that this is the only part of the curve that now exists. So we restrict the domain of sine x from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. Okay, So we restrict it so that now we have a 1 to 1 function and we can then think about finding the inverse function. Now we know that it's going between minus 1 and 1. So what we can do over here is draw y equals arc sine of x. So every single point, remember, that's on the original curve will be reflected in the line y equals x. So pi over 2, 1 will become 1 pi over 2. So 1 pi over 2. Like so. 0, 0 will become, well, 0, 0. That won't change. And minus pi over 2 minus 1 will become minus 1 minus pi over 2. So minus 1 minus pi over 2. And so the curve, instead of looking in that shape, will look like this. And here is the curve of y equals arc sine x. So it comes from the sine curve, restricting the domain to make it 1 to 1, and then reflecting it in the line y equals x, and you get this curve here.